Hello and welcome to Age of Empires 3 Tips and Tricks with me, Interjection. Today's video will be all about trading posts, including how to very quickly cycle through and switch the resource deliveries at all of them nearly instantly. Take a look at this game. H2O has researched hunting dogs and steel traps, so his settlers gather food much more efficiently than other resources. Therefore, it's best for him to have as many settlers as he can, almost all of them tasked to huntable animals to maximize potential income. But he still needs other resources to function, wood for houses, coin to train hussars, and that's where home city shipments and trading posts are really useful. No matter which resource you pick, they always provide a fixed amount of it, so are a great way to get a hold of those slower gathering resources that take settlers longer to collect. Now, watch carefully as H2O very quickly switches his trading post from XP to wood. Here it is coming up again from wood to gold, but in slow motion. Doing things quickly in Age of Empires is really useful as it frees up your time to better manage other aspects of the game, such as these cavalry, which could have all died if less attention was being paid. The default hotkey for finding your trading posts is Control p which when pressed will begin by snapping you to the first one you constructed that game. It can also be selected by clicking the first icon here. Pressing the hotkey again moves you to the trading post you built next, which you can also click on here, and each time you continue to press Ctrl P, you'll move to the next trading post built after the previous. Though, if one is destroyed, it's removed from the list, all others shift left and the game goes on. If you rebuild it though, it goes to the end of the line, not where it was before. So, unless you're very good at keeping track of which post is where and when it was finished and don't get muddled when they all shift left, then pressing these buttons to grab a particular post, for example this one, which is about to get a pass and need gold for a minute, men pop, whoops, wrong button, sorry, guess you lose. So, the most reliable way to change a single TP, even in a pinch, would be to cycle through and change them all to whatever reason resource you need in that urgent moment, because as you can see, it doesn't take long to do at all. Then after, if you like, you can customize the route to multiple resources of your choice. Control P though, when you actually look at the position of the two keys, it's very awkward to press with one hand, and top level players cannot risk taking their hand off their mouse even for a moment in case something like this happens. Each Hussar is 200 resources, and when mistakes happen, like accidentally running into enemy units like this, you need to be ready to save them. So, the best way to cycle through your trading posts is to either change the hotkey, or move your entire hand to the other control key. Hold it down, and repeatedly press and release P. Meanwhile, your other hand moves the mouse cursor to the lower right corner of the screen and selects the resource you want. Time your clicks just after each keystroke, and with a bit of practice you can more or less get into a rhythm of reconfiguring an entire route in less than a second. In a real game though, sometimes you might miss a TP by mistake, and if this happens, by all means click the button for the one you missed. To watch another video more about the fine details of how trading posts actually work behind the scenes, click the link on screen or in the description below. Thank you very much for watching, leave a like if you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you all again next time.